So do you want to get out of Charlotte? Maybe you can work from home now and you're looking for a little more space. Or maybe you're moving to the area, but being in the city doesn't appeal to you. Matthews might be the answer for you. The town of Matthews is located inside Mecklenburg County and has a population of about 32,000. It's located southeast of Uptown. It's almost 12 miles straight out Independence Boulevard, also known as Highway 74. Now the average commute time is roughly 30 minutes, but a bad accident on Independence can definitely extend that out to an hour plus in the worst case scenarios. There's always Monroe Road that you can take as a bypass as well if you need to. Speaking of commuting, the next proposed route for the light rail is supposed to be out towards Matthews on Independence called the Silver Line. And it has a tentative completion date of 2036, so you'll probably be retired by that. Now, the average home in Matthews is about $214 per square foot, and that's as of the last six months, and it does seem to be trending down slightly. And with the average home being roughly 2,700 square feet, it leads to about an average selling price of 575,000. Now you can find stuff for much cheaper, but that's just where the average lies. I personally hadn't been out in Matthews in a while and I forgot just how much it has to offer. It has a super quaint downtown area and when I went out to finish, they were literally just wrapping up their Labor Day parade. I believe they called it Matthews Alive, but uh, I think it was a three day event. The downtown area is super cool and definitely worth a walk through. There are a lot of great shops, restaurants, and breweries on the main strip, which is North Trade Street. And for me, the standout was probably Temple's Edge Comics, which I believe is new there, but they offer comics, board games, and craft beer all inside. I mean, how can you beat that? Right up the street, you have Seaboard, which is a great wine bar and tap room. And then just beyond that, you have Carolina Beer Temple. You cannot miss going a little further up the road to Not Your Mom's Donuts. These things are ridiculous. Uh, Matthews also features some restaurants you might be uh, familiar with uptown. We might call them Staples, Max Speed Shop, or the newer White Duck Taco. And when it comes to sports activities, Honestly, if you're actively, actively participating in the sports, you really can't beat being in the Matthews area. I went to check out the Mecklenburg County Sports Complex. It has 11 multi-use fields, all with lights, so you can play at night. Nine fields offer synthetic turf and two are natural grass. And I mean, this place is huge. You have to drive through it. But it's an amazing place. They hold tournaments all the time for all the sports, including soccer, lacrosse, field hockey, and rugby, and even more. Now, for all of us Northerners who migrated to Charlotte area, Matthews actually offers one of the few places in the, in the whole Mecklenburg County other than Pineville where you can find an ice rink. The Extreme Ice Center is an 87,000 square foot facility with two NHL regulation size ice rinks. They have daily public skating, they offer hockey and figure skating lessons, and they also contain a pro shop, the Center Ice Tavern for an ice cold beer after a hockey game, and Core Studio Pilates. Matthews also features one of three Aquatot locations in Charlotte, which I'm told by my friends with kids is one of the most recommended places for swim lessons for toddlers. When it comes to health, Novant Health has a massive campus with a specialization on women's health and pediatrics. They also just broke ground on a $169 million expansion. Atrium has a campus just a few miles south of town near the Extreme Ice Center, and Matthews has an Ortho Carolina office as well to meet any of your musculoskeletal pains. They all have back problems, right? Matthews also features two massive shopping centers on either side of the exit on Independence that you'll take to get to Matthews. Although you won't find any of the high-end stores you might see in South Park, you will find the essentials from Best Buy to Old Navy. There's a Harris Teeter, Costco, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, everything you could want in here. I was honestly, I haven't driven through in a while. I was blown away by how much was in there and how many different stores there were. There's also restaurants like Bonefish Girl and Texas Roadhouse. Also a couple hidden gems out that way. Brian's Brew Barn has everything the home brewer could need and really the only go-to place for brewing supplies in Charlotte. And my personal favorite store is Woodcraft. Now I personally do almost no woodworking, but when I think I can, I'll make my way out to this store. They have the most knowledgeable staff ever when it comes to anything wood and a great supply of tools different types of wood for purchase, and even offer woodworking classes. Lastly, I'll mention that Charlotte really only has two spots for car dealerships. One's on South Boulevard and 485 intersection, and the other one's headed out towards Independence, towards Matthews. So if you're the one that likes to have your car serviced at a dealer or you're leasing and you need it serviced at a dealer, 
It's really convenient to be right there where all the dealerships are. It's also convenient if you lease your car and you want something new every two years, you have all those dealerships right there. And one of the dealerships closest to Matthews is the only Tesla dealership in the area. As Charlotte is getting more crowded, we're seeing a lot of people looking to the suburbs for a little more space. Matthews really offers the conveniences of the larger city without all the hustle and bustle you might find closer to Uptown. If you're interested in being close to Charlotte without being in Charlotte, I encourage you to check out Matthews. Eat a donut, drink a beer, read a comic, kill an afternoon, it's worth a drive through. I'm Ryan McGrand, I'm a realtor here in Charlotte. If you have any questions about buying or selling, feel free to email, text, or call. My email and phone are pinned in the comments down below. I look forward to talking to you. Take care.